Hello friends, this is our seventh video lecture and it will be about IAS number one presentation of financial statements. So, financial statements present to users of financial information, statements of financial position, SFP, formerly balance sheet, Statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income, SPL, formerly income statement. Statement of changes in equity. Statement of cash flows, notes to the accounts. So, IAS number one deals with statement of financial position or SFP. Previously it was called balance sheet, but the name was changed to statement of financial position. And also IS1 deals with statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income or uh, shortened version is SPL from statement of profit or loss. And uh, previously it was called income statement, but now the change the name was changed uh, to profit uh, to statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income. And also IS1 deals with statement of changes in equity. So in this video lecture we are going to concentrate on these three financial statements. Statement of financial position, statement of profit or loss and statement of changes in equity. Let's keep in memory that financial statements should provide a fair presentation of the results of business activities. So, statement of financial position. It contains information about assets, equity and liabilities. Let's look through an example that is the assets section of statement of financial position. As you can see, it contains two columns, figures at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year. Also, there is a non-current assets section here. You can see property planted equipment, intangible assets, financial assets and also uh, here uh, total for the non-current assets section calculated. And the current assets section contains inventories, trade and other receivables, financial assets, cash and cash equivalents also. Here total of current assets calculated and here total assets calculated as you can see. Here is an equities section of statement of financial position. As you can see, equity se section contains equity shares, also retained earnings and other components of equity. And total is calculated too. And here is a liability section of statement of financial position. We can see here non-current liabilities. Uh, they include long-term borrowings, finance lease liabilities, deferred tax liability, retirement benefit liability. And uh, here total of non-current liabilities is calculated. And also here we can see current liabilities section where we can see trade and other payables, dividends payable, tax payables, finance lease liabilities and both total of current liabilities and total liabilities calculated. As you remember, the, uh, the accounting equation uh, means that assets equals equity plus liabilities. So, we can look through our uh, example. As you can see, at the end of the period, total assets are $3,500 and at the end 
of the period. Financial uh, total assets are uh, $4,100. Sorry. And as you can see, total equity at the beginning of the period $1,700 and at the end $2,000. And liabilities at the end of the period $1,800 and at the, at, the, at the end of the period $2,100. So if you just sum up our equity and liabilities at the end of the at the end of the period and at the beginning of the period we are going to receive 1800 plus 1700 that's equals to 3500 so the uh, accounting equation is correct here there is no mistakes and the same situation is for the end of the period, 2000 plus 2100 dollars, and we receive uh, 4100 dollars, which is also correct in accordance with account accounting equation. So, that is a simplified version of statement of financial position. It's just presented uh, for you to obtain an overall understanding of statement of financial position, how it looks like. Sorry. Statement of profit to loss and other comprehensive income. This statement contains information about revenue, cost of sales, other operating incomes, other operating expenses, incomes from investment and financing activities, expenses from investment and financing activities, other comprehensive uh, income gains, for example, gain on non-current assets revaluation, or uh, other comprehensive income losses, for example, losses on fair value changes, which uh, must be disclosed in other comprehensive income section. So, here we can see an example of statement of profit loss. It's, uh, it, is, it was split on two parts. That's first one, that's the end of statement of profit loss. It is also a simplified version just to uh, help you to obtain overall understanding uh, how statement of profit to loss looks like. As you can see here we have revenue, cost of sales and uh, the next one gross profit it is uh, revenue minus cost of sales. Also we have here some other operating incomes, administrative expenses, selling distributions expenses, other operating expenses. So here we have calculated our result from operating activities. Operating profit equals to gross profit plus other operating incomes minus administrative expenses minus selling and distributions expenses and other operating expenses. And here we received a profit of $300. So uh, then we have uh, an investment in, in investment income and finance cost, and then profit before tax is calculated, which is operating profit plus investment income minus finance costs equals to three hundred fifty dollars, and then income tax expense, which is in our uh, in this example is fifty dollars and the uh, profit from continuing operations for the period is calculated which is profit before tax minus income tax expense equals to three hundred dollars so then uh, here su subsection of discontinued operations profit or loss for the period from discontinued operations 
rec recognized and disclosed as a single line. In our example, just to simplify, we sh show zero here. Profit or loss for the period would be profit from continuing operations for the period plus profit or loss for the period from discontinued operations. Uh, in our example it is zero, so the profit or loss for the period is the same as profit from continuing operations for the period. And uh, this figure of profit or loss for the period will impact retained earnings and also will be disclosed in statement of changes in equity in a retain, retained earnings column. And then we can see here as a comprehensive income for the year after tax section. It, it may contain gain on non-current assets revaluations, gain loss on fair values for as a comprehensive income, remeasured gain loss on defined benefit plan, and then as a comprehensive income, net of tax is calculated and total comprehensive income for the period is calculated, which is the sum of profit to loss for the period to as a plus as a comprehensive income, net of tax, uh, and uh, it gives us total comprehensive income for the, for the period. In our example, it is the same as uh, profit or loss for the period because in our example just to simplify as a comprehensive income net of tax is uh, sorry is zero so let's go to the next statement that's statement of changes in equity it shows us details of changes in equity shares retained earnings and other components of equity it is also a simplified version, just to uh, show you how it looks like. As you can see here, we have opening balances of equity shares, retained earnings, other components of equity. If we go back to our statement of financial position, here you can see that figures are the same. So they are in line with statement of financial position. 1500, 200, and there is the same 1500, 200. Total is calculated also. And then the next line issued a share capital. So there was no issuance in our example, uh, that's why here is zero, and there is no change. Dividends paid, in our example, there were no dividends paid, so there we can see zeros too, no impact. Total comprehensive income for the year. And here we must disclose amount from our statement of profit or loss, our figure uh, profit or loss for the year. So profit or loss for the period, $300, is disclosed in this column. Other components of equity is zero, uh, because in this line, as a comprehensive income net of tax, we have zero. So, in this column, as a components of equity is zero too. And then closing balance is calculated, as you can see. The only, uh, uh, the only element which uh, uh, have changed during the period. In our example is retained earnings. There is an increase of $300. And if you can, if, if we go back to our statement of financial position, you can see that the amount at the end of the period are in line with statement of changes in equity. 1,800-200 and here is the same, 1,800-200. So, that is the end of our lecture number 7. I hope it was useful. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, bye.